Hi guys, welcome to another video, and in today's video we are back again playing Minecraft. But, well I've got like a bit of a story to tell you. So basically, between the last episode and this episode, I went on a bit of a mining expedition. Yeah, I've got loads of iron, all smelting, yada yada. Um, but then I was digging, so I thought, you know, we're just going to dig straight down to Y10. Now, here is where things get very interesting, because I kept on digging down here, yada yada yada, found loads of iron, found loads of stuff, and then I found this, now. like, ooh, this seems interesting, and then I'm like, oh no, it's just the one thing. And then I just continued down, and then when I got to here, I dug out here and I saw some redstone. So, I made an iron pick, I dug out the redstone, and then I see these little fellows up here. We have actually just found some diamonds. So I thought I would bring you guys in so that you could experience the glory of collecting the four diamonds. This, this is our first set of diamonds in this world. Well, I don't want to drag out the Manning Expedition too long. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly continue mining for a bit longer but I'm not going to make you sit through that and I will be back with you in just one moment. Okay guys, so one thing that I learned just then is that mining isn't as fun as I remembered. So um, I went round and uh, killed loads of animals, so now we have quite a lot of food. Um, but we also now have enough wool to make a bed so that we can skip the night and we will not be damaged as much by the mobs because yeah they do have a tiny um tendency to um kill us and yeah i'm really tempted to uh go on a killing spree do you know what is there a skelly bob um there was skelly i'm trying to get to the skelly bob boom thank you because if you remember there is a wolf in that forest that we could actually really benefit from killing um, sounds a bit awful, but yeah, we could really benefit from... Oh, not killing. No, no, not killing. No, definitely not killing. We want to tame it because, I mean, why don't we want a pair? Like, why wouldn't we want one? Um, so, basically, I haven't really spoken to you about the plan for this series. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around and chop down some trees as I explain to you the plan for this series. So the plan for this series, oh no, is basically it's going to be a let's play. Um, I want quite a lot of it to be uh, real time, but I also want some time lapses in there. For example, last time we did a tree time lapse, but you know, that really didn't go to plan because it was really short because we kind of got interrupted by the night, but that will be a uh, issue anymore now that we have that bed so I can just go sleep and continue with my time lapse um but in future that won't be an issue so then we can have better time lapse oh i have just remembered what are we going to craft with these diamonds what are we going to make with the di i don't want to make a diamond sword like i've literally just made the iron i really want to make some diamond boots i desperately want to make some diamond boots Ooh. really want to make some diamond boots we make some that I know that'll take up I'm a bit concerned to the fact that it that will take up like literally all of our diamonds. So do you know what? I'm just going to literally put them in there for now so then that way we don't lose them. Um but yeah, so back on to the plan. So it's going to be lots of real time with a bit of time lapsing mixed in there. Um where we're we going to build our house. Well I want our house to be in this general area. Here because it's like nice and flat and we can like build things all around here for example I want like maybe some restaurants up at the front here uh, looking over the ocean uh, I'm just going to kill animals as I do this um, but uh, we could um, basically our house is going to need a lot of planning and I want you guys to tell me whether or not you would like that to be planned on or off camera. So my plan is that maybe we should uh, do 
some on, some off, you know, like, do little updates on how the plan is going. Because I want you guys to be in the loop, because if I'm planning something that looks absolutely horrible, we don't want to build it, and then you guys say, oh no, that is absolutely horrible, why on earth did you build that? Because then we're a bit screwed out of it, so yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do now is basically we're just going to work on flattening out as much of this area as possible. So yeah, I'm just going to hop into a time lapse. So as you can see, um, there will be times where we're just hop into a time lapse just because we're doing something that's quite laborious. So I'm going to flatten out some of this area and then I'll be right back with you in just a moment. Okay guys, so here I am in a creative test world and I have just planned out a farm for the area which we just flattened out in that time lapse. So as you can see, we have all the farms up here which are growing all of the food. You might notice that there's no animal farms because I want them to be down on this side on the lower part and I just want the food on this side. So basically the way it works is we have the water for the plants here, the plants, the food, I don't know what you want to call it. We have the water for the food there and then that just trickles down into like this little lake here. Um, and then we have sugarcane around here because I didn't want to add sugarcane because I wanted it to all be quite uniform. I didn't want any of them to have any special things. Um, so that's why I have just put so much sugar cane around there like so I did um, faff about with a design here for a while but then I decided that this was the best design for us to go for but yeah we're just going to hop of by the way there's a quick thing that I need to mention before we go back into our survival world Um, this is going to be house here this is going to be a wall of the house uh, so let's just say for argument's sake the house will be birch, I'm not sure if it will um, but then there will just be house there so you know like it's going to be like connected to the house so this wouldn't just be like connecting to nothing it would connect to the house now with all that said we're just going to hop back into the world okay so we're back in the world now um, but there was one thing that I forgot to mention in that clip just before uh, which was that we don't have any glowstone to make the redstone lamps and we don't have any quartz to make the daylight sensors so we will just temporarily be putting torches up there just thought I'd uh, fill you guys in but um, now I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that we have all of those materials to hand and then we can begin building Right, so I do believe that I now have practically everything. Like, I do have a funny feeling that we will run out of things. So I do still have some things smelting so that we, if we run out, we've got things on the way. Um, but I'm hoping that we won't. I do have an image up on my other screen so I know what we are doing. In fact, I'm going to work on the top first because I've dug this down. This bit's going to be the water. I am going to remove all this at a later date. I'll probably remove it either in this episode or in the next episode. Um, but I'm just going to place this guy here. In fact, I'm just going to do the entire corner. I think that makes more sense rather than just doing a part of the corner. Um, now that shouldn't need to go all the way down there. 
should only need to go to like there. So we'll only do it up to like there because there's no point doing the parts that won't be shown. Uh, so let's grab a crafting table and place it down there. So then that way we can turn some of these into slabs. And then we also need to turn some into some stairs. I'm just going to make quite a few of those, but we can come back and make some more if we do run out of them. My uh, Oh, by the way, I did forget to point out, if you look in the top corner of the screen, we did have a little bit of a pillager incident where a couple of pillagers came along and um tried to um ruin our day we'll say um so we do have one of their banners over here and you know what they actually didn't kill me which is very very strange so i'm just going to collect some more of these so that we can make some more so let i'm just going to half it because we might need some uh, I need it for some other things. So we should be good to sleep now. Yes, indeed, we are. So now we can just head back over to our construction site. Um, we do have the current one here, which, to be honest, isn't very great. So this new farm will help us out a lot. So if I just continue over to here, then I just need to grab some of those half slabs that I was talking about earlier. And then I just need to place those in there and then continue this down to here like that. And then we just need to climb all the way back up here. Oh, I do need some glass. I did forget about that. I will make some momentarily. Uh, I do believe that we have some sand in our chests. So here it needs to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I already counted it. <laughs> um, could have saved myself some counting there. So there we go. We have that like so. And then it needs to come back up like so. And then we need to jump over here and bring this one up. And then just quickly grab some of this dirt so that it doesn't just pile up there. And then this needs to be down by one. However, at this point, we do need to remember that this is the first one. And this one, the first one is a bit of a different one. And it kind of breaks away from the pattern. Now, we need to go along with the smooth stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to go across eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's better to count um, so then you can catch your mistakes earlier um, because you don't want to build everything and then go, oh no, I've made a mistake, and then you've got to go and rebuild everything because it doesn't match up with your plan. So now we just need to finish off some bread and then we can just continue placing down this dirt like so and then we just need to jump down here and and do i just put a torch down i think that we can just put a torch under here because i don't think we really need um any of the space down there and there's no point filling it in so if we just continue with the dirt down here like so and uh, like that there we are and then we can just place that there and then we can just go one two three four five six seven eight always better just to check and then with this one it's a bit of a weird one so we need to do that that and then we need to do stair there stair there and then a stair there there we go that looks really nice because it creates like a nice little gap here but then the water also flows out there. I'm just going to replace that now. Because otherwise that will slightly bug me. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to... Oh, we need to go and craft a bucket. Oh, dro dropped my torch. So we need to craft a bucket because we don't have one of them currently. So if I just type in bucket, then that will save us from having to put it in manually. Then we can just run over here and grab some water from out of here then we can literally just jump up here to place this in and then we're going to have to 
do that again. Um, no, we can't do it without. So we're just going to place in this second one. And now what we can do is we can take it from this one and place it here. And we can keep doing that. Because that essentially makes an infinite water source. So then that way we don't have to keep jumping down. So there we go. We have our first setting. And you know what? I'm going to till the ground now. So then that way we can get things growing. So that we can start making things faster basically because the amount of food that we have currently is not very good we don't really have a lot so i think i left my seeds over in the chest over there so if we just speed over to here so then that way we can grab those out of the chest taking my uh, sweet time here so if we just grab these out here like so then we can go over and plant them and there we go, all filled in like so, and then that way that can start growing. You can visibly see that it's uh, growing already, uh, I think. Yeah, that that one's taller than the rest. So everything is visibly growing. Oh, I did forget to check if we had any sand in our chest. So we're just going to have to jump all the way back over here just to double check if we have any sand. And if we do, we might as well chuck that in the furnace straight away. Indeed we do. Let's just grab all how many pieces i'm just gonna do like 12 or something uh, so we've run out of coal in there we're about to run out of coal in there so if i just like yeah 17 um we have any more fuel not to hand so i'm just gonna give it some of that to use once it's finished um and then that way that can start smelting that should hopefully get us at least six pieces so then that way we can begin making the glass to go in there so that we don't fall off and so that we don't lose any of our things down there um maybe i should temporarily cover this up so that the water isn't just spewing out there we go that is much much better so now we just need to do a single layer of dirt here and then we need to do another layer of this because then this is where we're going to put a path in which will allow us to get in and out of the farm so if we just continue that like so and then this is where we jump into this again so then we need to grab those again <laughs> It, this is a very repetitive thing, but I do think that it looks very, very nice, um, as you saw from the little clip that I did to show you. Uh, let me know if you guys like it, because obviously if you don't, guys don't like it, then I might have to make some changes. Um, but obviously I won't be able to overhaul everything. Uh, for example, if you say, oh, there's too many stone bricks, that's something I can resolve. But if you just say, blanket, don't like any of it. We need some constructive criticism. <laughs> we can't just criticise everything, unfortunately, because then we would never build anything because everyone would always have an issue with some part of it. Now what we can do is we need to go out here. So we have one, two, three, four. And we just need to continue that along like so. Ooh, not munching on my bread just yet. Uh very tempted to uh, munch on my bread apparently uh, so we can just place that there then we just continue that then now I do believe that this turns in here let me just have a look on my images on my second screen indeed it does so we can just go one two three. I don't mind counting it uh, we don't really need to count that out because we've practically already done it several times so we should have spotted an issue uh i'm concerned if we didn't spot an issue um and we got this far so we should be all good and then if we just continue starting all of that then we can get planted did i get my torch back indeed i did so we can plant the wheat seeds that we do have i don't think that we will have enough to fill this in definitely not because yeah so we've got um a start on it uh we could um just steal the wheat seeds from over here uh which could help because we could also gather up all the wheat that is over here uh so because we don't really need this anymore so 
Because basically that is going to produce a lot more than this ever did. Uh, so if we just basically take all the wheat seeds, then that way we can instantly start growing as many as possible. See there, we've already got over a stack. That should be more than enough to finish filling in that space. Uh, so if I just go uh, all the way across here and fill all of this in, then that way things are starting to grow. So then that way we don't have to wait around. Uh, I'm just going to put those together because otherwise we're filling up our inventory pointlessly. So we're just going to continue placing this in. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we just need to go back around here to climb back up. And you know what? Because this is quite a repetitive task, I'm just going to continue the rest of it and then I'm going to be right back with you. Okay guys, so the construction is now complete. So we have this entire top area completed. I do just need to uh, chuck in a bit more dirt, but that won't take any time at all. So I'll do that between episodes for you guys. And I just need to add some torches up there, but that won't take any time at all. So we can either do that in the next episode or I'll do it between episodes. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to put the lake lake pond whatever you want to call it down here and then allow this water to spew down but yeah without further ado we have completed our first kind of construct oh no that wasn't intended we have completed our first construction for this series in this world like it's the first thing that we've actually constructed so with that said and done, I would like to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!